11 is coming. Steve just had his birthday. His office is a little bit of a disarray. And here we come. Oh, and Goose left. He's, he's scared of explaining it all. No, he, was, he was running. He was, he was going to come back. What's, uh, so what's happening in update 11? Well, the codex system where you can go and uh, take scans of enemies and of objects and learn a lot more about the world. So you get this, uh, get this new gear item. Um, and actually part of that is we have hotkey binding now for the gear items that people have been asking for. Um, you get this gear item and it can take a certain number of scans and then you go through and you, you can, if you're sneaky and you're using stealth, you get um, a lot more benefit from using it, but you can scan dudes and hack them up and you get XP for it and it unlocks things in your, in your codex. Um, it also shows you all the weapons, so you can kind of get a preview of, of all the warframes and all the weapons. So there's, that's a lot of information in the game being mm -hmm. revealed. I think a certain group of people is really anxious to see uh, what certain enemy types drop, and that's one of the, the, the things that's useful about using the scanner on those enemy types. Mm -hmm. There's Ember Prime coming. Yep. Uh, there's Glade Prime. I think Sheldon let it out of the bag that it's Sycharis Prime. Yep. Uh, yeah. I believe that's it for Prime Gear. Resource Drone, which I saw Polish being worked on. You'd be able to craft this... Uh, drone that you can in the star chart deploy to harvest resources for you while you're not playing and you can come back and uh, there's a bit of risk reward there so if you're deploying it out in like more lucrative areas there's a chance it could get damaged you might have to to rebuild it we've got a new map mode there's a bunch of really interesting ui improvements you'll be able to pull up a full screen map now which makes the navigating the dojo a lot easier because people have built like really elaborate awesome dojos you have your trading post in your, in your uh, dojo, you invite your buddy in there, and then uh, you can you know, the trade interface pops up and you can uh, exchange goods. Uh, there's that, we've got the new boss. Z, Z. Bosses. Yep. Plural. Yep. So update yep. 10, we did one boss, update 11, do two. Two bosses. Two bosses. The thing that we're really uh, hammering on right now is the new damage system, which is uh, going to be quite an interesting experiment with everyone, um, where we break down all of the physical damage into aspects of puncturing and, uh, and uh, impact and, uh, and slashing damage so that um, there's a lot of differentiation between the weapons and a lot of differentiation between, the, um, between how the enemies resist that. We realized we didn't just want to tweak the armor off of enemies. We wanted to say, okay, if we're going to change this, Let's, let's make a system that we think is going to last for years. So we really spent a lot more time on that. We're running a new event with it that's kind of an expansion on um, the, grad the, the Gradivist Dilemma. The event basically will kick off as the hunt for Alad V. Alad V will be dropping uh, the Berserker Warframe. So uh, once you know, located, then players will be able to uh, farm him for the parts required to build her. She's sort of like a reject from the Zanuka program that he's that he's I don't know rejects right word. Reject or escapee. A, a more like escapee, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to say what her powers are? I think my favorite power for her is her uh, grapple hook, which is uh, still being named a proper name. It will show up in the game as one of her, her first power, which I think the additions to the grapple hook, which is it now works on enemies and you can play hard enemies and pull them across the environment is, is quite entertaining and fun. Uh, she's got a team buff that I'm currently calling Intimidate, and that's basically a team melee uh, speed buff plus an armor buff. And then there's also, a part of that is a radio uh, debuff of enemy speed, so that the difference between your melee attack speed and their movement speed is accentuated and allows you to take care of them quicker. Her ultimate is the energy claws that she summons that are basically a melee weapon that is for her only, and goes into a rage and pulls out these wicked energy claws and destroys everything around her. The event, you will be offered battle pay uh, in exchange for your time and effort uh, to clear out the infested from uh, Jupiter. Uh, doing this will reveal the gas city and eventually you will, the players will hunt down out of the and be able to uh, take him down. What's really cool, I don't even know if I should give this away, but when, you're, when, you, when you attack him, the things he says to you are, they reflect what side in the battle you picked. So there's a real responsiveness to how the players participate in that event, at personally and globally, the consequences. So and scratching the surface, scratching the surface of this possible. 